You can run unit tests on your handwritten C code using MATLAB and MATLAB Coder. To illustrate the workflow, here we have a Kalman filter written in C called kalmanfilter.c, along with a header file kalmanfilter.h. Next, we have a MATLAB function called call kalmanfilter.m that will execute the Kalman filter given an in input. Note that we're using the coder.c eval command from MATLAB Coder to call the C code from MATLAB. We've written two unit tests in test kalmanfilter.m. The first unit test calculates the sum of squared errors of the Kalman filter, and the second unit test calculates the maximum error for each loop. The unit tests will fail if the values exceed a specified tolerance. Finally, we have a script called rununittests.m that executes both tests. I've set up the MATLAB coder project ahead of time, so I'll now build the MEX file that we will use to call the handwritten Kalman filter. Looks like the build was successful. Now, let's run the unit tests on the C code. Jumping over to verify code, we need to specify rununittests.m here, which contains the command to run all unit tests. Now, let's go ahead and start it. Matt just completed all unit tests, and as you can see, everything passes with flying colors. Using this approach, we can start modifying our C code and see if anything breaks. For example, I'm going to multiply the output y of kalmanfilter.c so that the Kalman filter will be slightly off. Our unit tests should catch this error because the sum of squared errors and the maximum error of each loop should exceed the tolerances that we specified in the unit tests. I'll also need to delete the MEX file so that the changes to the C code will be picked up. Let's see if the unit tests break as MATLAB coder regenerates code and reruns the unit tests. As you can see, both unit tests failed. In a summary, we see that both the SSE and the maximum error far exceeds the tolerances. We can also visualize how the modified Kalman filter tracks the input test vectors by plotting the results. Let me uncomment the function that does this and then rerun the unit test. The plot here is showing the input as blue X's and the output of the Kalman filter as green circles. As you can see, the Kalman filter is just a little bit off. If we change our Kalman filter back to the original version, and rerun the unit tests, we'll see the Kalman filter track the inputs very closely. Both unit tests pass again, so we're good to go. If you have embedded coder, you can also use the same workflow to run unit tests with software and processor in the loop testing. This enables you to test on your host or embedded processor for comparing results and profiling code execution. I'll go ahead and make MATLAB Coder generate a static or dynamic library. Heading over to Verify Code, you'll see that we're using software in the loop execution. Let's go ahead and start it. MATLAB Coder will wrap kalmanfilter.c into a static library and run the unit tests. I've enabled the plots so that we can see the Kalman filter running as expected. Once we have the baseline, we can start modifying the C code and see if anything breaks. This was a quick look at unit testing your C code using MATLAB and MATLAB Coder.